Right then, this will be episode number 20... What are we up to? 8. 28. What's bingo for 28? Um, One little duck and a fat woman. <laughs> Let's have the jingle. Sure. Quack, quack. Quackety quack. Welcome to the Tuesday Show, episode 28. 28. With CJ and Ted. And today. And today, this week, <laughs> uh, we will be talking about technology. Technology on the Tuesday Show. On the Tuesday Show, and we'll also be speaking to Shiraz. 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 Quack, 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 quack. So here quack, we are again. Quack, 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 quack. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> here we are again. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, CJ. Hi. What is your favourite piece of technology? Um, that's a great question. I know. I guess at the moment it's probably my gaming computer. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mainly, well, not because it was the most expensive, but... Mm-hmm. It's just the nicest bit of tech that I own. Okay, you know, okay yeah, I've got a nice phone, mm. I've got a nice computer that we use here in the studio, but mm-hmm. nothing really quite compares to my gaming computer. Okay. It's just all powerful. All powerful. All hail the all, all powerful gaming PC. How powerful is it? It's very powerful. Is it more powerful than big game? What's big game? Like a, a lion or a tiger. Oh, you mean, okay. I was uh, just sticking with the game theme. Oh, really. right, okay. Uh, so it's more powerful than venison. Really? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is more powerful than wood pigeon. Gosh. Although, <laughs> although venison is a little deer. It is a little deer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Too fast for me, dude. Oh, dear. God. Oh. Animals and computers, not to be mixed. No. Uh, although, do you have plenty of ram? I do have plenty of ram. <laughs> and a goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So we're going to be talking about technology, and yeah. we're also going to be speaking to a Shiraz. Looking uh, forward to that. We are, mm-hmm. and um, be. I think before that, what we'll do is we'll have some music. Sure. What have we got coming up first? Track number one today comes from Gigi Fern. This is brand new to the show, and this track is called "Deal with the Devil." Another day, chaos parade. Domestic life comes hand in hand. To use on you, your partner too Roses they are painted, your perfect view is tainted I looked in the mirror one night Suddenly my soul takes flight I made a deal with the devil He promised he would keep it if I kept it a secret I made a deal with the devil I don't know why he picked me, I guess there's something clear His eyes might be black, but I think that I like it. I'm not gonna deny it. But now I stare in the mirror all night. Suddenly my soul takes flight. I made a deal with the devil. He promised he would keep it if I kept it a secret. I made a deal with the devil. I don't know why he picked me. I guess there's something clicked. But living without your soul, it ain't so.
GG Fern, Deal With The Devil. That's a great track. I really enjoyed that. I really like that. That was really really good. Really good. One thing I've noticed on this show, Mm. which I can't remember if I've mentioned before or not, but we play a lot of music that isn't really our normal style. Yeah. But it's all good stuff. Yeah. I haven't come across a track yet that I've kind of gone, yeah, I don't really like that. No, no. Everything I'm kind of going, yeah. That. It's I good. really like that. Yeah, I really do good. like that. That's, it's, that's it's cool. Independent scene is, um, yeah. yeah, something to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the great thing about the independent scene is that that is really helped by technology. Absolutely. Talking yeah. of tech. What's your favourite piece of technology, Ted? My favourite piece of technology would be the. Do you know what? I you would have thought I would have um, um, thought about thought that. about that beforehand. <laughs> Is even, it? even when I asked you that question, you would have thought that I'd have some sort of idea in mind for myself. <laughs> is it your rampant rabbit? It is not. It is my adjustable screwdriver. Adjustable screwdriver. No. Oh. I don't know what it is, actually. <laughs> well, I use my phone a lot. I use computers. Um, the problem now is, I think, because technology is just ubiquitous. It's there. It's everything. Um, so to kind of pick a favour, I think, is quite difficult, mm, as, you're, mm. as you're now discovering. Because we just use it all the time. It's no, wait, my car. There. My car. Your car. Yeah. Okay. Because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the car. Well, yeah, there is that. But then I wouldn't be here if there wasn't for computers and equipment and microphones. And phones. Because there wouldn't be any point. Exactly. Exactly. And I wouldn't know when to turn up because I wouldn't have spoken to you on the phone. Precisely. The telephone. Exactly. Or light. Or light, yeah. Yeah, it could be getting dark. Yeah, true. It, everything's technology. Everything is technology. Everything's technology. That's it. It's ubiquitous now. It's just there. Oh. I love that word, ubiquitous. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> ubiquitous. This episode is sponsored by the word ubiquitous. <laughs> it just means always there. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. For those that don't know. Um, yeah. yeah, and I think that's kind of the problem. So it's kind of saying, what's your favourite? Yeah, so it's mm. like saying, mm. what's your favourite mobile phone? Well, I know some people do have a favourite mobile phone. But to me, a phone's a phone. Yeah. It has a purpose. Yeah. So as long as I've got one, I think mm. I'm kind of happy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, as long as I can message and phone and check Facebook and whatever, yeah. I'm yeah. kind of happy, you yeah. know. I wouldn't be happy with a, an old timey pick up the handset and thirty two ten or whatever. Whirl, whirl the wheel around. Oh, one of those. Yeah. St- stick the earpiece next to me, ear like, yeah. like the old style. You know, yeah, um, and then talk into a big box. Or you know. well, one of the early um, car phones. Do you remember those that oh, came yeah. with a big block, yeah. like the, the battery and everything? Yeah, man. Well, man. all the gubbins. What happened to car phones? Um, mobile phones happened. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. We just that, kind of moved on to something else. I say because it was a big thing at one point. You oh, had to yeah. have a phone in your car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, kind of um, defeats the point of the car phone warehouse, really, doesn't it? It does, rather. Yeah. What do they sell? Mobile phones. That's not a car phone. Well, it is when you put it in the car. But it's it's a, it's not. It's a mobile phone. Yeah, or, but it's, plug- or a it's cell plugged phone in from the for, uh, Yeah, but the thing is, it is plugged in when you plug it in. It may not be plugged in. It could be on Bluetooth. It could be. Uh. Then it's the... Um, it's still a, it's a it's a mobile phone. It's mobile. <laughs> exactly. Well, actually, even car phones were mobile phones because they were mobile. Because you were moving about. Precisely. Unless you ran out of fuel. Yeah. But it, was um, still, it was still in the car, and yeah. it was, could be mobile. But I remember this. I never had a car phone, but my dad had a yeah. car phone. Yeah. What car did he have for that? Um, I, I Ford. I don't know. He had a few different cars. <laughs> uh, Ford. Yeah. <laughs> Just pick a name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Austin. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm on the spot there. Um, uh, Vauxhall. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that a car? It had four <laughs> wheels. That's all I know. <laughs> four wheels and a steering wheel. Um, Ford's. Um, um, uh, Peugeot, Peugeot four hundred and five. Do you remember that four hundred and five? Uh, not pers- exactly. I mean, if you showed me one, I'd go, yeah, that's a four hundred and five. No, I'm not going to go to those lengths. No, there's no point. Yeah, um, I don't remember them per se. Uh, no. Um, do you remember the Ford Anglia? I remember. Yes, I know what it is. Yeah, I always wanted one. I know. We've discussed this before, have we? We have. God. And I said, well, it's a strange looking beast. Yeah. Always that effect. Yeah. So's your face. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Great fun. Anyway, uh, technology. Yeah. Cars are technology. Yes, cars um, are tech. Television's technology. Mm-hmm. Where would we be without a TV? Uh, I don't know. Do you know what? When was the last time you watched TV? <laughs> Weeks ago. Yeah, because I can't remember. Yeah, genuinely. But the, the stupid thing, because I record TV shows on my TV box, and I haven't actually turned my TV on for a long time. There's no need, is there? I've been too Just busy. record stuff. <laughs> But I've been too busy. Job done. But, that's it. but usually I'll watch all the stuff over the weekend, and I've just yeah. been that busy. I just yeah. haven't. I haven't had time. I I don't. I don't watch television. I've got a television. I don't switch it on. Yeah, that's why I can't remember last time I turned no. mine on. Don't no. even know if it still works. No. <laughs> hey ho, <laughs> could be knackered. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who knows? <laughs> and the only thing I do watch, as we have discussed before, is mm-hmm. um, what's it called? Talking Pictures TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, the old timey Tommy yeah, pictures. Other than TV, that, yeah. I, I wouldn't even bother turning these on. Yeah. But there yeah. we go. So my, so my TV may be dead, so I'm going to call it Schrodinger's TV. Okay. So, well, I don't know if it's dead until well, I try no, That's right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I usually just watch stuff on my phone. That's the thing, so isn't YouTube it? So YouTube and, and yeah. stuff like that. Um, I mean, I, I have noticed there's a there's a new uh, podcast on uh, YouTube. It's Is called there? The Tuesday Show. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, if we haven't already mentioned it, uh, the Tuesday show is now on um, um, the tube. The tube is on the YouTube, mm. uh, so you can find it there. At the moment, you can first find the first nine episodes of series one. Nice. And that will continue to be updated. Why have I not been getting notifications of this? I don't know. Shocking behaviour. Maybe you're not subscribed. I am subscribed. Well, you should make sure at home that you're subscribed. Yes. And uh, get the bell on, folks. To click on the bell so you get your yep. notifications. Subscribe, click on the bell and all that sort of thing. And uh, same goes for here as well. If you're listening on iTunes, make sure that you uh, you know give us five stars, subscribe, click the like, share with friends. Like and subscribe. Yeah, all of that. Yeah. Anyway, uh... Did you know we got a three star from somebody? What, did we? Mm. Only three? Mm. Out of a possible... Five. Oh. I was shocked. I'm shocked. Now, I'd like to say to people... Why did you do that? <laughs> I'd like to say to people, I don't mind that you want to give us three stars. That's absolutely fine. Mm-hmm. Um, what I would appreciate, though, is uh, a reason. Because <laughs> um, what, cause what you've done is you've rated us... So we've got uh, five ratings overall. Oh, yeah. Four of them are five... Sorry, four ratings overall. Three mm. of them are five stars. Oh, yeah. One of them is a three star. Yep. Um, and not a single person has written anything as to why they've given us said ratings. And like I right. say, five stars, you don't need a reason. We're five stars. We're yeah, awesome. yeah, absolutely. But three stars, come on. Yeah. Have the gumption. O- own yeah. up to it. Yeah. Tell us why. Yeah. What What do you want? There's clearly something you weren't 100% okay okay with. Just pop a quick review on. Yeah, absolutely. You're not going to upset us. No. We're grown adults. Yeah. You know. Or get in touch. Yeah. Email us. See Jane Ted at the Tuesday Show to Code UK. Good. Um, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Should we have some more music? I think we should. Yes. And this time we are going to have Subclass with My Valentine. Peace out. 
Subclass on yeah. the Tuesday Show podcast. Super. Subclass on the Tuesday Show podcast. Cool tune. Tune. What a tune. What a tune indeed. Anyway, so later on we're going to be speaking to Shiraz. Yeah. Um, but just rolling back in terms of technology, yeah. one thing that we had hoped to do uh, was use the setup that we currently got where we plug in a mobile phone to our equipment, yes. as it were. We um, have the technology. We have the technology, Ish. except for the fact that we both sport an iPhone. Yeah, we both sport the latest versions of iPhones. Which is great, but yeah. we have a normal, what do you call that? Like a normal um, a three and jack. a half mil jack. Three yeah. and a half mil jack out of the studio equipment. Mm. Uh, which, of course, means that we need to have a, what do you call it? A, a, li- a lightning light- adapter. A lightning adapter. Yeah. I've, I've got one. I was like, I've got one. Yeah. I know exactly where it is. We both have one. <laughs> I've left mine in my other trousers. Yeah. So you've mine... left yours wherever you've left it. it? Mine's just, I know, I know exactly where it is. It's just not here. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we, are, so we are going to be using a different technology to mm. uh, have a workaround for that system. But yes. that is so annoying. I know. I, I, I was, you know what? I actually put off getting the iPhone without the proper jack yeah. last time around. Yes. And I think I ended up with a six. Yeah, I think I you had a six, six or a six. I think that was the yeah. last one. But now I've got to have this one, which is a, I don't that's, know what That's an eight, is. I think, eight, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And now I've lost the jack. Hmm. So you haven't lost it. And it was one of those things. Which was, would be more annoying in a car if you lost the jack and you had a, yeah, absolutely. a issue with the tyre. Sorry. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> more technology. Yeah. Maybe. Um, it was one of those things when the, and I'm pretty sure the iPhone 8 was the first one to not have the 3.5mm jack. Seven. I think, did the I think 7? Was, I think it was I the 7. I thought the 7 had it. Maybe it didn't. I, no, yeah. I avoided a 7. I had a right, 6. Okay. That was it, yeah. So the 7 there. And there was this massive thing of, oh, seven. We, must, we must have a headphone jack, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I was one of those people. <laughs> I, was, I was at the front of the crowd. I had a, a placard that says, hell no, I want my hole. <laughs> And then he went to the Apple Store <laughs> <laughs> and did the same thing. But yeah, it was it was what there was this massive hoo ha about it. Everyone going, yeah. "No, we want our three and a half mil jack." Mm, mm. And I I was kind of on that band. I was like, "But I've got a three and, a, and I don't yeah. want to mess yeah. around with things." And but when I bought my iPhone ten, it came with the adapter, and I was like, "Great," because I can still use my old headphones. You know, yeah, no problems. At yeah. which point, I kind of gave up the whole thing about what's the what are you moaning about? Yeah. They, they they give you an adapter. Yeah. Or yeah, you do. You know, you join the 21st century and get yourself some Bluetooth headphones. Okay, but I'm still annoyed. Um, however, now because yeah. of this today, yeah, try you know because we're going to have to try and call Shiraz. Yeah. Um, now I'm annoyed. We don't have three and a half mil jacks. I know it, it is annoying. <laughs> um, but the, the, the thing about it is, it it kind of annoys me because I don't want to have an extra piece of kit and I have to carry an extra piece of kit. In the wrong trousers yep. or wherever, mm-hmm. because I haven't got it. And also, with the headphone, I can have my iPhone headphones, mm-hmm. which have the the lightning, yeah. lightning, but I can't charge it at the same time. No. So that's just really made my life difficult. I can't charge and listen or plug into something else at the same they, time. It's because they want you to go over to Bluetooth headphones. And that's not going to happen. And what, so what Apple want you to do is buy their AirPods, which are like £150 a pop. Ooh, and that's I, eye-watering. I, the fact that they're uncomfortable anyway, I ain't no. paying that amount of money. No. I, I don't know. Have you ever worn the ain't, earpods? Ain't, that, got, that, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's <laughs> <laughs> a trick, I'm honest. Have but, you tried wearing their earpods? No. They're so uncomfortable. No, I wouldn't because I'd look a fool. Do you look a fool? They, they, they kind of the big white drop thing. down. They, they look yeah. like 
you know, you've you've poured some UPV glue. Is it, is Your that P- PVA it? glue. PVA glue, you that's it. You put, UPV glue. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. <laughs> you know that? Anyway, we know what we're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah. School glue. Yeah, school yeah, you glue. Got, yeah. So you got some school glue. Yeah. And like a, a stupid child, you've poured it into your ear. Or <laughs> or you've had it poured into your ear by another child. Yeah. Ah, but what? Yeah. Great, great japes. But yeah. then what happens? When you stand up, it's because you'd obviously do that kind of thing on your side. Sure, yeah. So if you stand up, it's kind of dripped out, and you've got this drip of school glue. Yeah. Just coming out like a like a little white sideburn yeah, of it's glue. Like, it's like a little icicle that's forming, yeah. or a, uh, what are they, what's it called? A stalagmite. I, I saw a YouTube video, mm. um, I think it was on YouTube, uh, of this. <laughs> it was like a, a school dining room. Yeah. And some kid goes over to some other kid that's got earpods in. Yeah, yeah. And takes it out of his ear, mm. swallows it, has a glass of water, and <laughs> swallows his ear. Ugh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How annoying would that be? I mean, he might get it back, but it'll have gone through the digestive system. As like, a it won't student. be white when it comes out the other it end. Will, it definitely won't be. Oof. Um, <sighs> yeah, but no, the, the ear pods are really uncomfortable. And then the air pods, which are the Bluetooth version, yeah. I'm not paying £150 for them. Absolutely not. I'm not paying £150 for anything. Uh, well... I, my my Bluetooth headphones that I have for my computer here, mm. they cost three hundred. Yeah, but they're decent. Yeah. And I know they're decent. Decent, decent stuff. Yeah, but they're decent. but I mean I sat at you know I sat at home the other the other week. Mm-hmm. I had them on for like nine hours straight, and I didn't even notice they were there because yeah. they were that comfortable. Mm. And the sound quality, and it's got auto noise cancellation. See, yeah. that's the thing. I don't think you can get noise cancellation on the Apple AirPods. Yeah. Uh, and that's a big thing for me. I like noise cancellation. Okay. Well, um, I'll tell you what, we're going to do the opposite of that. We're going to make some noise. We are going to make some make noise. Make some noise. Uh, more to the point. And um, the person who's going to make some noise for us is Shiraz. Shiraz. Shiraz Hemstock. We have got Shiraz with Done the Dirty, and then we're going to have a chat with her. So here we go Done the Dirty. I 
And that was Done the Dirty by Shiraz, who is on the line to us now. How are you? Hello, Shiraz. That was Done the Dirty. When did that come out? Oh, Done the Dirty came out just at the end of 2018, around about December. I couldn't put a date on it because I'm awful at remembering things. Just in time for Christmas, though, which is good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't quite make uh, number one for Christmas. No, not quite. Have you got a Christmas tune in the in the pipeline for this year? I don't. I'm not planned. But maybe it could be a last minute thing. Yeah. We were thinking of doing a Christmas tune. Yeah. Maybe we should do some sort of collaboration. A Tuesday show and Shiraz uh, Christmas <laughs> Christmas um, fun song. song. <laughs> Just call it a song. <laughs> song. That would work. Um, yeah. it's, the, it's the way to be set for the rest of your life Come up with a really good Christmas song That gets played every year And just live off the royalties Yeah, absolutely <laughs> That's the way you do it Yeah. Anyway, you're far too busy for doing collaborations with the likes of us You've been gigging a lot Doing festivals and bits and pieces What have you got coming up? I, I may possibly have the Sunshine Festival All of my gigs tend to be last minute Which is a bit of a, a weird one I mm-hmm. always hold like a month in advance <laughs> Right. <laughs> awesome. So I could have more. Just okay. Not longer. So what kind of festivals have you done previously? I did a local festival to me called the Mellow Festival. It's pretty for like a local festival, it's pretty big and it was quite well known, but it's one of the better local festivals where I'm from. Which is where? Kidderminster. Excellent. All right. You started doing gigs when you were fourteen or something, didn't you? I did, yeah. I um had a singing teacher called Russell. And he set up all of his students a little gig in like our local Starbucks coffee. Oh wow! Um, <laughs> and it was quite, it was quite a big turnout actually. All um, right. But yeah, it was good fun. It's good practice. My first proper gig. Yeah, that's really good. Talking of being young, we were talking about technology, and you would be classed as definitely a digital native. Mm. Um, what, <laughs> what's your favourite bit of technology? You've got to say a microphone, but apart from a microphone, what's your favourite <laughs> bit of technology? Oh, that's a hard one. Mm, that's not hard on my phone. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that really can't be a difficult question for you. It's the, it's the portal to your whole life, is it? Yeah. It is, literally. <laughs> I wish not, but... On your phone, you probably listen to a, a fair bit of music. I do. I'm assuming it's not all your own music. What kind no. of... What, <laughs> what, <laughs> what kind of... All right, you're not narcissistic, it's fine. Uh, what, uh, what kind of stuff do you listen to? So I listen to like the genre of my kind of music, mm-hmm. but I like weirdly enough, like I listen to like liquid drum and bass. Okay. Um, alongside a lot of other things that I'm really not fussy with the music I listen to. Like a lot of people will switch through the radio stations to kind of like find their their song if you want to put it like that. Right. But, like, I'm not first. Like I could stick on heart and listen to some. Uh, uh, sorry, bear with me just a second. Apologies, my dog just started crying. Oh dear. <laughs> what kind of dog you got? A little Jack Russell. Oh, all right. Does it bounce? Does it bounce when it barks? No, um, no that's okay then. Well, it, it depends if it's the postman. <laughs> <What? laughs> Does it bounce when it barks? Yeah. So like somebody once told me a dog. If a dog bounces when it barks, then it's not actually a dog. So because oh. they shouldn't bounce at all. <laughs> He's like a little human. Okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, okay. back to the music stuff. Um, yeah, li- li- liquid drum and bass. You were saying. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I've not long recently got into it. Like, I don't really like heavy drum and bass. Right. That's not kind of my scenery unless I've had a few to drink. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. Liquid drum and bass is just something about it. It's, it's chilled, it's relaxed, but also it gives you a little bit of a, a kick, if you know what I mean. Okay. What, what about rock music? Um, like rock and roll, heavy metal, that kind of stuff. At my age, like, a lot of girls go through their little phases of thinking there's some little indie grunge kind of girl i used to listen to like new metal <laughs> nothing wrong. D- don't laugh there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> i grew up in in the new metal age lincoln park papa roach all those people there that's my genre yeah so yeah don't laugh at that so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, enough uh, of that, Grandad. Um, oh, shut up. <laughs> your face. <laughs> Uh, so you've got the Sunshine Festival coming up. Uh, you've done a fair few other festivals over the last few years. What else have you got coming up in terms of new releases? Um, well, I'm working on an EP at the moment, only very fresh, like in the past like week. Oh, yeah. um, but I'm working with some writers um, and obviously we've just released like a remastered version of my song, Grain. Mm-hmm. So we're going off the lines from that and we're doing songs around the basis of like done the dirty and sing the down. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to like get my first EP out and stuff, okay. which is really exciting. That's fantastic. Do you have like a timeline for that? No. No, you're just going to do it as and when. Yes. We're not going to be bothered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have we been sent Simmer Down? Have we, have we given that to us yet? Oh, uh, I can't remember, you know, I'm not very good with this stuff. I've got the worst memory going. <laughs> it's okay. You haven't. It's a big hint. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll look forward to that one coming through. Obviously, we've played Rain a few times in the uh, in the last series as well. And that you released again, the remastered version on the 27th uh, did, yeah. of June. And that's been well received as well, has it? Yes. Excellent. We've also got uh, a remix, which we'll look forward to in the next few weeks. But we are going to play Rain. Before we do that, can I ask you, Shiraz, what is the best way of finding out more about what you're up to online? So, all of my social medias. Mm -hmm. So, my current Instagram, which I will be changing, um, but my current Instagram with all of my little dates and stuff is Shiraz Hope with two E's. Mm Mm-hmm. My Facebook is just Shiraz Hempstop. You'll see my music page come up. And my Twitter is, I'm bad at remembering things, so I'm going to have to go onto my Twitter. It is for official Shiraz. Yep. And also my website. If you just type in my name on Google, my website will pop up, and that'll give you like loads of upcoming dates, loads of stuff about my music, and like local gigs that I might possibly be doing. Fantastic. Nice. Uh, and if listeners have forgotten any of that, it's fine because I think we'll probably have reference <laughs> to that in the uh, description on the on the podcast. We tend to share the odd thing on, online as well, we do. Uh, of yours, uh, which we will continue to do. Mm-hmm. And yeah. um, we're going to thank you so much for coming on to the show. It's been quite a while trying to organise it. Hopefully at some point we'll get you down to the studio, uh, which would be Definitely. fun as well. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get you to sing for your supper. <laughs> oh, well, I'll have to give you some supper then. Anyway, it's rain. We're going to play out to that. This is the remastered version. Thank you, Shiraz, for being on. Thanks for having me. Here comes the rain. Who's Lorraine? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's me.
Rain by Shiraz, and a real pleasure to talk to her today. Indeed it was. So thank you to her for coming on the show. Yeah, finally we got her onto the show. Yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah, and uh, I like that remastered version. It's really good. Yeah. And the great news is, I think we talked about it, we've got the, the remix as well. Yeah, we have a remix yep. ready and lined up for playing in a couple of weeks, I, yeah, I assume. Absolutely. Whenever, whenever we, we can squeeze it in, we'll get it in. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks cool. for that, Shiraz. Thank you, Shiraz. So, Ted, mm. what is your first memory of the internet? My first memory of the internet is at school. Mm-hmm. Apparently, it was an email. Okay, I don't know yeah. if it was called an email at that point, but it was definitely... Look, you know, electronic telegram. Yeah, look at this, <laughs> this children. We're we're going to we're going to send. Wouldn't have been called children. We were about fifteen at the time. You know, this is <laughs> rather ages me slightly. But it's like we're going to send a, a message to the other side of the world. Uh-huh. And it all seemed a bit unspecified, and it all seemed a little bit hazy. Mm. But there was lots of noises and modems and yeah, brrr, 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 brrr. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the teacher turned around and said, "There we go. It's done." And we've got a message back. It's like, well, that means absolutely nothing to me. Yeah, that means sod all. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, so fine. So that was my, my first okay. uh, experience of the internet. Basically, it was a little bit of a damp squib. Yeah. Mine was, um, again, in school. Yeah. Um, I think the internet had kind of taken off a little bit more and people were using it more and more. Mm-hmm. Um, still wasn't the information super highway that it is today. No. Um, but I remember using a program called Netscape Navigator. Okay. And we all thought it was the bee's knees. And you'd mm. type in a, and you'd have to, you had to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash yeah, www yeah. dot whatever. Yeah. And I remember we all typed this thing in and I can't, what's the website we went to? I'm pretty sure it was a porn website was the first thing that we went to because <laughs> the teacher wasn't looking. And somebody just went, oh, let's just type in porn.com. Yeah. Um, so we did with the HTTP, da, 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 <laughs> porn.com. And it came up with this big red warning and said, adult content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't access this site. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then the teacher looked around and went, what are you guys doing? Nothing, sir, nothing. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> It was great, but it took ages, and then like this little symbol in the corner with the E yeah. uh, would be like spin around yeah. like the plat- like yeah. a planet on the other side. And I mean, we didn't have internet at home until you know way after most other people. Yeah. Um, school wise, again, the internet wasn't really a massive thing until probably I left school. Yeah. Um, yes, we had a, a library with some computers in, mm. and you could go mm. in and search for porn and what have you. But. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> For the trusted, the trusted students, oh, yeah. there was like a little back room oh, uh, right. where, you, where you could close the door and and all the, you couldn't see the screens the, the tr- from the other side. Hang on, trusted trustees, look like trustees. The, the trustee. Well, I was trying not to sound you, like porridge. I know. Yeah. I was about to say, where, where did you go to a borstal? Yeah. <laughs> no, so, so we had like a we had like a little area in the library with the computers in, and then there was like this little back room with glass you could see in there. Okay. But all the computers were against, so you couldn't see the screens. Yeah. 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 So, then, then Ray Winston walks in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the daddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm the daddy now. Um, give us a fag. Um, but so yeah, so if you were one of the trusted students, you yeah. could uh, go and use the the, the back room for, for yeah. your internet searching, which I was, along with a few others. Okay. Um, and all we did was search for porn. Okay. That was all we. That's all we ever used it for. Fantastic. <laughs> that's a, that's a great story. Wholesome. Um, yeah. And um, yes. Um, actually, no. There is a website that I do recommend. Um, it's called Pen Island. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, on that note, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's take ourselves away from your stories of childhood and go to something <laughs> a little bit more wholesome, which is some fantastic rock music. Yes. I'll leave you to introduce these guys. So, brand new track from Empire. Their album comes out on Friday the 5th of July. Um, this is a brand new track from that album. This is called New Republic. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah.
that was episode 28 of The Tuesday Show. And you can find us on Twitter by searching for at Tuesday underscore podcast on Instagram and Facebook by searching at The Tuesday Show podcast. You can find Ted on all of the mediums at Ted James Media and myself at CJ Brooks FM. And you can send us an email CJ and Ted at thetuesdayshow.co.uk. But that is it for now. I'm CJ. He is Ted. I'm going to go and do something quite technological. Excellent. Goodbye. 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 Sorry, can we start that game? Sure. Okay. What was a spider there?